Ah, and I hope this isn't the cheap stuff. Hey, it's our finest Bordeaux, is that? It's 35 quid. Oh, I wouldn't pay that much. I'm not going to. It's on the house. As if! It's for your son to give to his potential surrogate. Is there not a danger that she might see that as a bride? Oh, do you two want a grandchild? Oh, OK. Too soft for me on good, mate. Hi. Um, can you help me? I'm looking for a uh, mill cottage. Oh, you must be Natalie. Oh, is it that time already? <laughs> uh, how do you know my name? I am Aaron's gran, and this is his mum. How do you? I'm a fella. Oh. Hers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and, and I'm his dad. A pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Um, so, uh, Mill Cottage? Oh, all well, in good time. Give the girl a drink, chat. Where are you going? To make sure Aaron's ready for her. Give us ten minutes and then send her over, OK? Is, is, is there a problem? No. Where are you? I'm just past Manchester. What? Natalie's due any minute. So keep the company till I get there. Robert, we're supposed to be doing this together. Yeah, well, I can't control the traffic, can I? Ah, you... What now? Nothing, just get here. <laughs> Hello? Well, that's going on? You were supposed to be helping with the cooking. Well, never mind that. Natalie's in the pub. Do you want me to bring her over? Do I look like I'm ready for her? I knew this was going to be a disaster. Liv's gone missing and Robert's only halfway home. But now he should have been here ages ago. State the obvious, very useful. What do you want me to do? Just keep Natalie occupied until Robert gets back. Well, what if she gets bored and wants to leave? Well, then make sure she doesn't, Gran. Come on, I'm relying on you. Whatever it takes, yeah? Oh. Yeah. Copy that. Do you like ping pong? Why? Because it was making conversation. Would you like a tour of the beer garden? It's going to be lovely when it's finished. Same again? I'm, and I'm really not planning on stopping. Good news, I'll be ready for you within the hour. Oh, uh, an hour? Uh, I can't wait that long. I'm supposed to be dropping my car at my dad's. He's a mechanic. Oh, if you want your car fixed, Aaron's your man. Is he? Yeah, it's a garage next door and Aaron's got a family interest in it. Oh, he'll have a look at it as soon as he gets here. Aaron doesn't even fix cars anymore. Well, we'll get Kane or Debbie to have a look at it. I really don't think lying's such a good idea. Aaron told me to keep her here, whatever. Right, well, I'll call him and see how he's getting on. Just don't get carried away. Yeah, well, phone him and tell him to get his act together. And they are loved by the kids. They had a big thing the other day that you wouldn't believe. Balloons up. Oh, yes. Hey, Bear's not been pestering you, has he? Oh, no, we had an interesting chat. I had no idea Aaron was such an entrepreneur. No, I've just been telling her about his chain of garages, you know, how he started small with the one next door, and now he's got franchises all over Yorkshire. North Yorkshire, Bear, let's not exaggerate. <laughs> uh, my dad. <laughs> dad, I'll be there as soon as I think. What do you think you're doing? I'm trying to stop her leaving, which she mustn't do. Whatever it takes, remember? Not long, OK? I, I promise. Mum, I don't know. I'll text you as soon as he gets back, right? I don't need this stress right now. Uh, where have you been? Natalie's in the pub with Gran. Why is she there? Where's Robert? He's stuck on the motorway. Well, she'll be back by now. Oh, my. I wish people would stop saying that. Oh, aye. I'll have a go. Had a rough day and all. Have you? Why? Nothing important, don't worry. <laughs> 